Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Jake 104 back with another video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the KSI versus um, Logan Paul 2 fight. So I've gotten it all written down right here. I written, I wrote all the uh, rounds and, you know, the final. So, uh, here we go. So, um, round one, which I'm going to give props to both fighters. They fought an amazing fight. I watched it live stream and um, I watched it at the Staples Center. I was at the Staples Center there. I'm back in my hometown now. But I was there, uh, and one of the things we're going to get to did not look like what it was told as, but <clears throat> we'll get to that when we get to that. So, round one for the Logan Paul versus KSI 2 fight. Uh, Logan Paul doesn't have his gloves up, so I have my gloves right here. Um, he's fighting down here where his gloves are not even, like, he should have his gloves at the ready, like ready to like fight um but they're mostly down he's he's fighting like some of the ufc fighters that don't even like um that, that, that don't even put up their gloves to a specific height um so i don't know what that's about uh ksi lands a couple uh lands two right hands on logan during that round uh, and then, uh, there was a huge, and I mean massive, left hook for Logan. Uh, and that got the crowd going. Um, uh, then we go to round two, where Logan Paul's gloves are now up by his face, um, ready to go. Um, and so what happens is... Uh, Logan Paul starts to fight with his hand, his gloves up, um, and they're at the ready. Then KSI starts fighting like a tough man. Like, he's going up there, he's going like, <laughs> he's laying right hooks, jabs after jabs. And, um, that kind of got Logan, uh, he, he got, he got his adrenaline rushing. Um, Surprisingly, there wasn't as much blood as there was, but this is a family, friend, family, family, friend, family, okay, family friendly channel, so I'm not going to be going into that, um, so, uh, yeah, and then he wants a rugged fight, case I wants those rugged fights, he wants one of those fights where it's super easy to get the guy, um, and he's, He's throwing haymakers after haymakers, I'm telling you. Um, then, uh, as we head on into round three, Logan Paul gets knocked down, but the referee puts it as a pushdown uh, by KSI. Uh, but Logan Paul, I mean, from me, from my view, which was on the left side of the Staples Center, I was up a bit. But I could see it from my view that it looked like a knockdown. Although I was on Team Logan Paul, it did look like a knockdown from JJ or KSI. So, um, so yeah, Logan Paul got knocked down. The referee puts it as a push down. Um, and then uh, behind the head, left hook for KSI. He got those left hooks in round four, uh, round three. Uh, as we lead into ourselves into round four, KSI is trying to land some of the right hooks. Um, then uh, Logan Paul answers but misses. Uh, then there was Logan Paul came up at like I believe it was around thirty seconds left of the fight, or it left of the fourth round, and he goes up there and he uppercuts him. He he's going on the side, and he goes uppercuts him. And then grabs him by the back of the head, uppercuts him again, and then taps him on the back as he, as he's going down. So what happened was, he did it intentionally with with the tap on the back of the back or tap on the his the back of his head. But to me, it looked like a tap, 
but the referee put it as a full-on slam into the back of the head. KSI is saying, oh, it's a complete slam on the back of the head. Anyway, uh, he got a two-point deduction uh, from himself and Logan Paul. And then we lead ourselves into round five. And also, with uh, the uppercuts, it got JJ stumbling. It, it really got him, it got him, like, loose on his feet. Uh, they took a couple seconds, and then they went back at it. Um, going, leading ourselves into round five. And Logan Paul uh, does some nice jabs. He, he gets some nice jabs up in there. Uh, and then... Uh, he hit all of them, just by the way. Uh, and then there's nothing exciting after that. Just um, walking around the arena, walking around each other. Uh, leading ourselves into the last round, um, or uh, round six. Uh, so, the last round, KSI seems to land some good potty shots up in round six. Uh, it seems like KSI won round six uh, because Logan Paul really just was kind of blocking everything except uh, um, more of the uh, body shots. Uh, through majority uh, hits over and um, and then uh, then they ended off the fight. Now we're going into the scorecards. Um, this is where I got mad uh, at like everything because I spent $275 going to this fight and this is what happened so the scorecards were pulled out um, the draw was not that far away it was pretty close so Zachary Young scored the contest 56 55 and he has it for Logan Paul then Patrick Russell scores the contest 57-54 and has it for KSI. And then uh, Dr. Luvia, Luvia, Lua Moria, uh, Mora had the, I don't know what the name was. I really was just kind of hearing it. Um, and had the contest 56-55 to 55 for the... For the winner by split decision and then they said from the united kingdom the nightmare ksi and i i dropped i was i was done i was like there's no way i left that arena that night and i was like man there there was uh logan paul is going to be filming out a submission Saying that it should have only been one point off. If it was one point off on the deduction for the tap on the back of his head uh, and the grab. Then if it was only one point deduction, it would have been a tie. It would have been a tie. But if it was a like two point deduction, obviously KSI won. Um, and, and if it was a... Like a warning, no point deduction, Logan Paul would have won. And so unfortunately, uh, KSI won. I was going for Team Logan. That's why I went is because I did get to meet Logan Paul, though. I did get to meet him. I got to meet KSI as well. I didn't want to, but my brother did. Um, and yeah, fighting out of the blue corner, Logan Paul. Fighting out of the red corner, the Nightmare KSI. I was going for the Maverick. Logan Paul, unfortunately, he didn't win, but I guess that's all I have for you guys today, um, and I will see you all later. Peace out.